Yeah. Emotions are complicated and so many times we feel something but we don't know what we feel or why do we feel that and what do we do with that emotions that we don't understand. We usually push them under the carpet and we suppress those emotions. And suppressing emotions is one of the first steps right into the psychological disbalance and right into psychological issues. We should not suppress our emotions. But when we don't know what they are trying to tell us and why they are here, we don't know what, what is the right thing to do. Well, the first thing you should remember is never suppress the emotions. Why? And what they are trying to tell you? Let me show you today. Emotions are our friends and they are here for some reason. Just like the every organ that we have in our body. Emotions are here and they have a purpose. And I would like you to understand emotions as our friends. They are here to help us to go through life. And they are like some messengers. They, they are always trying to help us to understand our environment and how that what is happening outside uh, is going to affect on our internal world and what should we do in order to go through this and to be okay at the end even if sometimes we don't think like that and it doesn't sound like that for, especially when we talk about some uh, negative feelings and first of all there are no negative feelings we can call them pleasant or unpleasant feelings for example fear is one of the most unpleasant feelings that we can we can feel and we never want to feel the fear but the fear is our first survival tool that we got fear you are in danger i want to help you to take some action to save yourself so what fear is basically doing is it physiologically prepares your organism and your body so you can react really fast in a proper way so you can survive a certain situation so fear is a survival tool um so that's the first example that I gave you so you can realize that fear is the friend. So we mentioned the fear at the beginning of the video and uh, the adrenaline, cortisol, so all the hormones and things that are happening in our organism. Uh, you have the video on my channel, I will not uh, talk about this uh, again. Uh, you can uh, watch it. Uh, but the fear is here to give us the proper uh, response of our organism, the energy and um, the power to run away, to react, to save ourselves when we are in danger. And right now let's talk about other emotions and let's see what they are trying to tell us. Anger something is threatening your boundaries and values you care about this protect it so anger is here to help us to protect ourselves and to protect our values and boundaries so if you feel anger that means that you really care about something uh, there are so many things behind anger and anger it could be the cover for sadness so sometimes you don't feel pure anger you can feel anger because you are hurt because you are sad because some other feelings so next time you feel angry try to go to dig a little bit um, deeper and to find out what is the emotion behind are you maybe sad are you maybe hurt and what are those values that someone is trying to cross what are those boundaries so next time when you feel anger ask yourself what am I trying to protect right now and is that really needed to be protected right now or I just misunderstood this situation and overreact sadness you are about to lose something that is important to you let it go. 
So sadness is here to remind us that we are human and that we had or still have some wonderful feelings about something but understanding that nothing is permanent and we are about to lose something or we are losing something sadness is here to help us and that means that we really cared about something and if you see this in some another way you can embrace that you can embrace that you felt some wonderful feelings for something and that right now is time to let go so sadness is here in that uh, how can I say like a, a middle space between holding on to that something and l letting it go sadness Sadness gives you the time to sit down and to acknowledge that and to take a look and spend some time to talk with yourself because there is something going on that is important that it, we have to left leave right now and we cannot do that by suppressing it. So sadness is a very useful thing. Um, when we are losing something that we really care about, it's really important and it can leave some negative marks on our uh, mental health if we just pretend it's not happening and if we suppress. So sadness is kind of here to help us not to suppress things, but to stop. Okay? Uh, sadness is here to help us not to suppress things uh, but to really stop and to really think about what is going on here because suppressing is not good we have to stop we have to think we have to go through this we have to acknowledge that we uh, care about something that we love about love something and then we have to let go that something sorry about this fly here so it doesn't matter is that something uh, a person did you lost a person forever did you break up with your partner did you lost your favorite sock <laughs> did you lost opportunity did you lost a job did you lost something um, you have to stop and uh, just pay attention on it and uh, next logical feeling is the grief so grief is here when we finally lost that something and we have to express that feelings and we have tears and for example tears are uh, natural painkillers i mean endorphins that are released when we cry are natural pain killers and they are here to ha to help us heal you know that every emotion has and it is a physiological reaction of our organism some hormones are playing around our organism and body and we have to express emotion in some way and the point is to express in a proper way uh, so when we are sad and we when we are in grief when we feel grief we cry so crying is very good for you um, okay can you go now and yeah just like I left uh, right now after crying you feel a relief and that's the purpose one of the purposes of the tears so if you feel grief take your time and and cry it also helped me when I lost my father. I was so expressing the grief I, uh, with sounds, with fears. I was terrified what, what, uh, how I expressed all those things. Uh, I completely was not able to suppress that. 
a couple of days I was suppressing and then one day I was crying so loud that I was scared of that loudness and that voices and um, sounds of pain that, that were out of my, uh, my voice. I was not uh, <laughs> aware that I can be so loud in that crying but uh, that's what my that that's what is natural natural thing and um, yeah okay that's the message from the grief sit down cry out you love this you cared about this so grief is like the tool for sadness for expressing the sadness anxiety you are afraid of uncertainty you don't believe you will be okay make sure you are safe so we know that anxiety is basically the fear of unknown or uh, the fear but the the threat is not obvious so when we feel uncertainty it's our belief that we will not be able to cope with something that we will not be okay at the end and that the situation will not be like we want to be so we are afraid of that uncertainty and the one simple advice that I have for you is um, don't care about will situation be okay uh, it's a lie that everything will be okay because it's not always like that but one thing that you can have on your mind and repeat to yourself to feel better is maybe situation will not be okay but I will be okay believe in the human organism mechanism it's one mechanism that is always working for us and at the end of the day we are fine emotions goes here and there and they gone and at the end of the day we we will be okay maybe not at the end of the day maybe at the end of the month or the year but you will be okay and happiness you are doing the right thing just continue so happiness is here to remind us that we are doing the right thing that everything that we do the circumstances uh, thoughts that we grow in our mind uh, our behavior and everything that we do all those little steps that is okay that's what our soul wants that's what we are made for and we are at the right path so happiness is here to remind us that we are doing very great this was just um just a couple of advices and a short video about what our emotions are trying to tell us but right now i'm working on um, one big course about emotions and uh, i will let you know when when it is finished on self clarity academy and now we have 18,000 students on self clarity academy and our my course um, stress master class is highest rated so uh, i'm so happy about this i'm so happy i'm helping and uh, don't forget to check self clarity academy you will find the link below courses are hosted on udemy and skillshare and uh, you will find some great advices here if you want to work more on this um, personal development healing coping and uh, all those right things to do thank you for listening if you have any questions ask me and see you very soon